look at this. So don't worry about the blue, but look at the um, brown line take off. That's the hands. All right, that's just her using the upper body. That's my concern with her ball swing right now. She's not utilizing anything in the lower body power. Her pelvic tilt is off, her rotation is off. We need more of those two variables to be able to get her to include those two powerful sections in her golf swing, all right? So one of the things that we've used a lot is to help with this kinematic sequence, and, and I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna have you swing this club. This is, this is a weighted club. It's a little bit lighter than what your driver would be, all right? I don't want you to hit the ground, but what I want you to do is actually put some effort into it. I want to hear that thing swoosh. I want you to swing hard, all right? Good, good. Hold on one time. Good. So give me about five swings hard, and on the fifth one, I'm going to remember it. Good. Do you hear that noise? What is she now doing? She's releasing. All right, and I want you to focus on, good. Is that how you normally swing a golf club? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> no, we, we saw it here. All right, go back to live. Keep going, keep going. Whoa, what was that? I didn't hear anything. I want to hear it. That's oh different. yeah. That's different. Let's go to live mode and get ready to capture again. Good, good. So what am I forcing her to do here? I'm, well, I'm not forcing her to get efficient. I'm opening her up, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm taking away one thing, and obviously it's the golf ball. Because most people put a white object in front of me and go freaking crazy. So what I'm doing is removing the ball, and I'm letting her athlete come out in the game of golf. She needs that, because she is very toned down when she's swinging the golf club. We need to let a kid make sequence, I'll get to that. Where did the pelvis peak before, maximum speed? Later. Top of the back swing to impact. Right about here. Yep. We'll say in the, the, the second third of the downswing, okay, closer to impact. What has happened in this is she has shifted her uh, pelvis graph very far to the left. Her torso is also shifted very far to the left. What part of her body took off like a rocket in the first swing? <coughs> Arms and hands, all right? And what we saw was the steepness of the hand curve was much different than the steepness of the pelvis curve. That is different. The steepness or the slope of the pelvis and torso is starting to match the arms and hands. In this case, the hands, because I took the blue line off. Can you show me the first swing again? And you're gonna see the difference. Pay attention to right here, all right? We're gonna go back to that first swing and you're gonna see the hands shoot up like a rocket ship and the pelvis red line and the torso green line were very flat. There it is. All right. What is the only intervention that we gave to our client? Super speed. Just swing hard. Okay. Pelvis speed. Her speed and her real swing. And this is where another parameter we look at. 219 degrees per second. So I want you to remember two numbers. 219 for pelvis, 308 for torso. All right. Let's go to the new swing. Those are on the super, super low end of the scale. Toddlers have more. <laughs> Toddlers, all right? Just by adding a little bit of, hey, just, just loosen up. 353 to 514. 353 to 514. She over doubled her torso. Oh no, she almost doubled both of them. That's a significant change to put it in perspective. Males on tour are about 470 degrees per second. You're now at 350. All right, can you, that was after five swings. Their torso on tour is probably around 800. I think, I, I believe those numbers are fractionally low. You are now at 514. And what did you do different? Just try to swing harder. Well, here's the good news. I don't want anybody to freak out. She was 1.2 degrees open on her first swing. Due to the amazing work of Lance Gill and Super Speed, you are now at two degrees open, 2.3. Yeah, great. No, I'm not happy with that. I want her to be at least 40 degrees open. She is seeing some gains, but we're not, we're not where we want her to be. But can you understand how just allowing somebody to be more athletic now can show up on our, our feedback here? And I'm showing her quantifiable results. And I really didn't do anything. I'm not hitting golf balls to either scenario. I'm just allowing her to be more athletic. If we can train her 
to actually use her pelvis in rotationally, this could even go higher. I could see, I could foresee you being where I see typical males, all right? That's the good news, right? 